Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back watching the Game of Thrones finale. So we made it. Holy shit. This has been a very, very long time coming. I Almost 12 months. Yeah, I think a little less. More yeah, probably less. Closer, closer to 10. Yeah. At the time of... Oh, true. Because, well, it'll be a bit longer by the time this gets out on YouTube, probably another month after our Patreon. So, yeah, it's been quite the journey. Wow. Hopefully we're able to <laughs> do our next shows a little bit quicker. <laughs> but... It has been quite the journey, and I think I speak to both of us when we say it's been one of the best series we've ever watched. So, there's a lot of emotion going into this. Yeah. However. However. <laughs> we do feel like the band has been ripped off a little bit because after the last episode, we've just been talking about it, and we're in all sorts. We're just a bit, bit confused. Like, I kind of half expect it because everyone's been saying it, but for the most part... We I didn't we expect that, though. No. For the most part, we haven't felt it was as bad as most people make it out. We've actually liked the majority of it quite a lot. Even the, you know, parts that weren't written as well. But last episode was just, wow, it didn't, it, it missed every mark. I mean... Look, I wanted to wear this t-shirt for this episode. Yeah, that was that was the plan originally. I know John's Targaryen as well, but like... <laughs> <laughs> Threw it on the floor. You should have, should have over your shoulder because the camera doesn't capture that, but <laughs> take two. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Look, no, in all dude. seriousness, in all seriousness. That's what, no, that's what Danny's done to us fans. Yeah. That's what she's done to us. Oh, we're looking forward to this prophecy. That... Hang on, sorry. My, my, it's annoying me there. It's in the way. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> It was like a little sold a false promise, sort of feels like, of her journey. Yeah. And it, even the way it was executed, it was just like, what the hell? It was just so sloppy. And so. I fully get her mindset, but we were saying off camera, you know, once we saw her initial like anger, why didn't we ever see her again to know what was going on? Because. Yeah. To kill the innocents was like a whole other step for Danny, right? Yeah, I get, you know, stopping the turrets and things like that. Yeah, that was fine. Fine. The war was well and truly won. She had decimated it. And yeah. then for the next half an hour, we're upset to just see everything getting burned. I was just waiting for her. I thought she was going straight to the Red Keep. One on one with Cersei. Like, I don't know. I don't know. That was just... And don't get me wrong. Like, obviously, I love the Targaryen house still, but I'm just hoping that the books have a better ending because that was just not it. Yeah, it was a bit upsetting, to be honest. Um, again, you guys kind of prepared us for it. We always always open to the possibility that it wouldn't be great, but yeah. I thought it would be great because of a lot of unanswered questions and maybe nothing being too conclusive. I didn't think that Danny was just going to lose her shit, flip out on seven and a half seasons of development and just completely sort of betray everything that she's meant to have been representing. I can understand her losing her way a little bit and then coming back, but she was just completely, after eight seasons, yeah. you'd expect more. I mean, when she was beheading that slave boy, remember? Yeah. The pain in her face, you saw she didn't want to do it, but like she felt like she had to. There was like a purpose behind it, right? Whereas now this is like thousands of innocent people, yeah. right? And... Oh, we are kind of talking about it before and it's like the way I saw it was her conversation with John and she just steps back and she goes, okay, well, fear. She knows the rest of Westeros doesn't love her. So if John doesn't love her, then that's all she's got. She's got fear. Like, I think that's how I took that. So I understand her perspective of, you know, I've got no other way to rule. I'm angry. Everyone's betrayed me. I get even that. Then, even then, it's, but it it's doesn't, pretty poor writing. Yeah, it Even is. then, it doesn't come close to justifying it properly. I agree. I agree. Most of the deaths fell really short, if not all of them. Yeah. Um, you know, and you guys know me. Been waiting since the day I was born for Cersei to get destroyed. <laughs> and honestly, we we're just talking about it. It just didn't, to not have a single scene of any sort of interaction or conversation with Danny or Cersei or 
it just Danny just felt like she just lost the, the plot. Like she wasn't even involved in the in the episode almost. Yeah. Once she lost it, she was just against everyone. Her own people were, were running to, out of fear. Like yeah. I was like, what are you even doing at this point? And then didn't John have to kill one of his own men as well? Like I, I was like, what? what? Why? Why is this happening? Yeah, now? that was a bit weird too. I don't know. Once the war was well and truly won, Danny just killing everyone for the sake of it. Just I don't know. It didn't. It didn't make any sense. Mm. It was like. You wanted to be queen. I'm just curious to see this episode now. What the hell is she going to be queen of? What's left? Ashes. Like, who's even going to serve her? There's no way Tyrion is going to... Well, Tyrion's going to realise he screwed up big time running Varys in. Yeah. And now, what's left? Tyrion, this is not the world Tyrion wanted. This is, Tyrion, this is, Tyrion looked dead. Like No, this is as bad as anything Tywin did. Maybe worse. She destroyed everyone. I don't know. I don't think... Many characters were done well. Like no, nah, the send offs were pretty crap. John, decent. Like I liked when you know we we're focusing on him and things like that. I really felt that's when I felt the most emotion on John. Right. It's another big point. Sorry to cut you off, but that, on, on the point of emotion, like I kept looking over at Pudgy, thinking, okay, you know, to get a vibe because she cries over anything, <laughs> and didn't even see her tear up. I just saw her look like, what's happening yeah. the whole time at every death. That's when I knew that. It just wasn't landing. I don't know. At least in episode three of season eight, yeah, there were some things, right? But there was emotion and intensity there. Here, I just felt like, oh, like it's just happening. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways. Yeah. And, and you know, in, in hindsight, upon reflection, we've thought about and realized more of the flaws that are within, particularly season eight, are more pronounced that we maybe didn't pick up on in the moment. We'll talk about that in another video. But it really stood out for us last episode. That was like the most for look. Some of you might be like, guys, you slowed to the party. We felt this for a couple of seasons. We yeah. were very glad that we were still able to enjoy the majority of the show. I think the thing was, it's not that we didn't see them in the moment. It was that there was enough good there to overshadow it. Yeah. And we were able to look past some of the inconsistencies yeah. or whatever to enjoy the overall treatment and story and yeah. adventure of our characters. Because it was still felt like a rewarding payoff for us, yeah. you know. Well, this is the long anticipated finale. Finale of Game of Thrones. You know what's the funny? Biggest finale. Well, you know what's funny? We we're always saying we would do our final love like hate list in a recap video. It's gonna be really conflicting on like Danny now, if we're doing this episode, I don't know how how to feel about her. Like Yeah. It just she just blew the coop, like <laughs> What's this what's the saying? Blew the coop, which does no, not. No, not that. No. There's something else. Something else. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. I mean, what do you think is going to happen now, John and Danny's relationship? Look, I don't know because all those close-ups of John last episode, he was realizing more and more and more that, you know, she does not care. Like Danny does not care at this point. She might have. She's in a, in a in the past, but at this point in time, she does not care. I mean, he told his guys to fall back, knowing that, you know, Danny could just go hell Mary on them and kill them. She just was not. I don't know. Yeah. So I don't think their relationship can be mended from that. I, I honestly. But she's pushed Danny away. Who Sorry, has? she's pushed John away. Yeah. Tyrion's gonna be shocked. Oh yeah. She's most people have died. Sansa and the North already don't trust her. No one's going to want to follow her. I don't, I don't honestly don't Like, get at it. this point, she's going to be the queen of nothing. I don't know where to go from here. Like, I genuinely don't know what we're even going to see this episode. And I think to clarify as well, it's not, it's not just what Danny did last episode and what others did. It's just the overall feel of it. Like, Danny could have maybe proven everyone's right and been the mad queen and lost her way, and that might have been something foreshadowed. But with Game of Thrones... That could have been something executed that would have been like, wow, that was shocking. What incredible writing. But it didn't feel like that. Mm. It just felt yeah. like it was thrown in there. It wasn't explored very well. The execution of everything that happened didn't feel particularly shocking or impactful or even intelligently written. Yeah. It was just there because. And it almost felt like it was unnecessary. So yeah. that's where we're at. Uh, we did say it's not what happened. It's how it happened. Like I just said two seconds ago. I was just stopping it up. <laughs> In case you guys didn't hear me, yeah. That, thanks. Pudgy, that was critical information there. <laughs> Looks like we were Game of Thrones last episode really, really rubbed off on her. She can't remember anything. She's re repeating useless stuff. Or... I honestly thought I'd be a little bit more excited coming into this last episode. Oh, we've been anticipating this for so long, guys. Every week we've been counting down. 
I think we just need to get into it and just say, rip that band-aid off. Yeah, we were so excited to watch these last two episodes, mm. but now we're just really like, well, the thing is, I'm not, I can't see how the show, like there's, there's no belief now that it's going to do anything amazing. I'm just going to try and enjoy the last moment of these characters because I still yeah. love this show and love this world. But after the last episode, I'm just like, what's left now? Like, what are we, what are, what's left to do? Well, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We appreciate all the love and support we've been given over on our Patreon. You can't watch any more several episodes ahead because this is the last one. <laughs> but if you want to access the uncut reaction to this and anything prior, we'll leave a link in the description as well as stay tuned for our upcoming show, which is going to be Breaking Bad, which is replacing our Game of Thrones slot. There's already several episodes of Breaking Bad up on our Patreon now. And if you are watching this over on YouTube and you enjoyed today's reaction or just enjoy seeing us potentially suffer, <laughs> leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more shows and more reactions. Game of Thrones is done, in case you didn't realize. <laughs> and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode, what you thought of the show. You can go as spoiler-free as you like because we are done after this. For Not, not as spoiler-free. Spoiler alert. Oh. <laughs> spoiler free. So you can have as much oh <laughs> what I meant to say was you guys can go crazy with spoilers because there are no spoilers anymore not spoiler free oh. right everything <laughs> alright alright without further ado let's embark one final time he's not happy the world he was fighting for where dead. is it dead dead Imagine what Jorah would think. Oh, poor guy. Oh my God. Jeez, he can barely breathe, it sounds like. <gasps> oh. Oh. Man, that's the least you worries, dude. Look what I look all around you. Oh. People are destroyed. Wow, people are just devastated, man. <sighs> What's she done, dude? What does she plan to rule over? Where is she? Like... There's no way John can be loyal to the Queen after this. It's not a Queen. It's not safe. He doesn't Let care. Send some men with you. I'm going alone. Jeez, they're all afraid of her, you know what I mean? Like, no one even trusts her now. She's lost control completely. Do you think they were talking about Danny? Yeah. In the name of the one true queen, Daenerys Targaryen, I sentence you to die. Wow, dude, they're brutal. It's over. These men are prisoners. It is not over until the queen's enemies are defeated. How much more defeated do you want them to be? They're on their knees. They are breathing. Oh, my God. I obey my queen's commands, not yours. And what are the queen's commands? Kill all who follow Cersei Lannister. Well, there's no Cersei Lannister to follow now. <gasps> oh, <laughs> shit. Is he? Oh, my God, man. Is he going to, you know, speak up, let everyone know who he is eventually? Jeez, man. Oh, shit. Far out. I get Grey Worm's pain. Yeah, but the Lannister army is not the Lannisters, you know? I just want to see what state Danny's in because she must have absolutely lost it by now. Like, this would break her even more because there's nothing left. Will she see, will he see his siblings crushed bodies or something? I think so. I think that's what he wanted to check up on. Is he going to see the golden hand? Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Damn. It's kind of sad just seeing that hand there. Their interaction was like really sweet. That was one of the few one. nice things, yeah. Oh, Tyrion tried his best to be a good person, to help out, and he just didn't get rewarded. 
How Cersei's face, I think. I feel for Tyrion. Damn. Through Tyrion's perspective, I, I feel really sad. And they're just sitting there hugging each other, like... Yeah, Danny might have actually done the worst thing in the whole series. Oh, Tyrion. What is this? It feels like really cultish, like the Unsullied, the Thraki. Look at her flag there. Yeah, the sigil. It's just very eerie. This isn't the utopia she aimed for at all. How did he leave first, but then Grey Worm's just there? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty cool scene. With yeah, the wings there. She but... looks okay with this. That's what I'm confused about. It'd be interesting to hear her thoughts. I thought she'd look more broken. She's happy. What kingdoms, dude? I get it. She's achieved what she wanted, but I don't... Yeah. Avitolvio and Nuro Gento Sibrosan. Dario Valerio Valeriat. Oh, wow. I mean, that doesn't surprise me. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I love that for Grey Worm, but... But what's she going to do for... But Grey Worm's never going to know peace now. His life was meant to be settled down, you know? Yeah. Now it's just war. I know. And what about John? That's what I'm curious about. In the battle of the Beoldi Darvende. Read who from King's Landing? No one's here. In the battle of the Beoldi Darvende, no one's here. Not like this. She's lost her marbles. Avar, Valar, Rinyar, Tole Gregor Votis. What? That, it's not making sense. I love the speech, but. Yeah, no, she's, project, she's projecting something that's, that's not there. Like Winterfell's free, it's happy. Arya does not look happy. Is Arya going to have to kill her? At this point, I don't even know where we're going. How's she going to announce taking over Winterfell when Jon's right there? Like, what? And she's drunken on the glory, like... It was everything she's ever wanted, but it wasn't this way. She didn't want it like this. You freed your brother. Oh, you no. Treason. I freed my brother. He's dead anyways. And you slaughtered a city. Yeah, I know. Who's going to say what? Okay. Square up time. Yeah, he doesn't believe in that anymore. Wow. That's big for him. Yeah. Look good on him, dude. I'm with Tyrion here. Big time. He's speaking the truth. She knows it. She knows it. Zirineja Katas. She lost her mind, dude. She's freaking lost her mind. It's like, it's your turn, John. Like, you're next. Yeah, dude. John didn't defeat the Night King for this kind of no. future. <laughs> no, no. This is shit. Oh my gosh, she's like disgusted in him. Wow, man. Holy crap, how she has fallen. I thought she'd be a bit distraught or something, but she's. Well, like, she knows. On this. Tyrion. What are you doing here? I know. I came to kill Cersei. Your queen got there first. Yep, she definitely did. She knows who you are. Who you really are. You'll always be a threat to her. Wow, that's so sad, man. And I know a killer when I see one. Oh, shit. That's why she looked to her face. Oh, damn. I feel like Danny did quiver a little bit when Tyrion, you know, struck that nerve. 
Wow, that's so sad, man. Thank you for coming to see me. Our queen doesn't keep prisoners for long. Mm. Should listen to Varus, man. I betrayed my closest friend and watched him burn. Now Varus's ashes can tell my ashes. See, I told you. <sighs> Damn, that sucks, man. I shot my own father with a crossbow. I betrayed my queen. He didn't. I did. And I'd do it again now that I've seen what I've seen. Yeah, damn. A little too late, hey. But the war is over now. Is it? Not according to Danny. She just said you that. You heard her talking to her soldiers. Did she sound like someone who's done fighting? Because he doesn't understand the language, that's why. Oh, so he wouldn't have heard about Winterfell and understood that part. But you could tell in Danny's voice. Our queen's nature is fire and blood. Mm. You think our house words are stamped on our bodies when we're born, and that's who we are? Ah, then I'd be fire and blood too. You're a legend, True. dude. My sister was an evil woman. Pile up all the bodies of all the people they ever killed. There still won't be half as many as our beautiful queen slaughtered in a single day. Yeah, that's crazy, man. She saw her dragon shot out of the and sky. John's and John's in denial. City for it. Ah, it's easy to judge when you're standing far from the battlefield. Would you have done it? Yeah, here's the question. Would you have burned the city down? Easily, no. I don't know. Definitely no, yes. dude. You do know. You won't say because you don't want to betray her. He's so loyal to her, even in the end, when she treats him like shit. Evil men die, and we cheer her for it. And she grows more powerful and more sure that she is good and right. And that's the dangerous part. Far out. She believes her destiny is to build a better world for everyone. Yeah, but not by ruining it. You truly believed it, wouldn't you kill whoever stood between you and paradise? The answer's no. Well, I think he's painting the picture of her craziness, not so much asking John in this, in this moment. Just saying that how out of control she is because she believes she's in the right. I know you love her. I love her too. I was waiting for her. I knew, I knew. Not as... Successfully as you. <laughs> <laughs> but I believed in her. With all my heart. Where did that get you? Yeah. Love is more powerful than reason. We've seen that with Jamie and Cersei. Man. Look at my brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Love is the death of duty. Stannis said that, didn't he? You just came up with that. Nope. Maester Eamon oh. said it a long time ago. Interesting. And he was a Targaryen as well. Mm. Sometimes duty is the death of love. I mean, it goes both ways, hey? You are the shield that guards the realms of men. You've always tried to do the right thing, no matter the cost. You've tried to protect people. He's not wrong. He really has. He's died for it. Who is the greatest threat to the people now? Damn, he knows the answer. Poor John. He's tried so hard. He doesn't deserve to be in this situation. Do you think I'm the last man she'll execute? Who is more dangerous than the rightful heir to the Iron Throne? Damn, imagine it came to that. Far out. The man has had no minute nephew. to breathe. That's her decision. She is the queen. Wow. What the hell? That's how that conversation ended? John's so defeated. What's he done? Oof. And your sisters. Oh, you shit. Them bending the knee. Not a chance. Not a chance. Why do you think Sansa told me the truth about you? Because she doesn't want Danny to be queen. She doesn't get to choose. No. 
but you do. Mm. Jeez. Create a world where they can live or where they die. What are you going to do, Johnny boy? It's like the biggest decision of his life almost. God damn, man. I can't see him. I can't see the this a decent ending here in any way. And I can't see him killing her. But I would like a chat between them. John spoke really freely to her when he first met her. Now he holds his word so much. I don't mm. like it as much. I like when he used to just speak on equal footing. All that music. Wow. I didn't think his landing would get any more depressing. I know. It's snowing there again. Yeah, true. Was it snowing when they fought? I don't think so. Oh, wow. That was pretty cool. It's like Drogon trusts him. Yeah, well, he recognizes his Targaryen blood. She's in love with the throne. Is that really what she's on? Oh, my God. I get it from the perspective of it's everything she's ever been fighting for, but it's always been her one goal that's kept her going. She's even dressed depressing, like it's all just black. Yeah, it wasn't snowing here at the time of the battle, was it? It was all sunny. Now it's all of a sudden snowing what, in, one, in, in half a day. Sit on it. I want to see if she gets cut. I was thinking the same thing. We haven't seen anyone get cut this show though. And John's coming in. Oh shit. This is where the chat's going to happen. So many fallen enemies. You could only see the soles of Aegon's feet. I saw them executing Lannister prisoners in the street. Straight to the mm. point. It was necessary. Necessary? Have you been down there? Have you seen children? Little children burned! Oh, he's not holding anything back. Nah. I tried to make peace with Cersei. She used their innocence as a weapon against me. She thought it would cripple me. And Tyrion? It should have crippled you. Yeah. You can forgive all of them. Make them see they made a mistake. Make them understand. He's trying to see the good in her, but I don't know if it's left. The world we need won't be built by men loyal to the world we have. The world we need is a world of mercy. It has to be. Yeah, that, I mean, that's a very good point. She even looks crazy, to be honest. She looks eerie. How do you know it'll be good? Because I know what is good. I think that line is a little blurred. You do. You do. You've always known. Damn, dude. I'm sad through John's eyes. What about everyone else? All the other people who think they know what's good. Mm. Yeah. They don't get to choose. Well, but is that good? The oh. There you go. That's crazy. This is our reason. It has been from the beginning since you were a little boy with a bastard's name. And I was a little girl who couldn't count to 20. Oh, man. I thought we wanted this and yet we now we don't. We break the wheel together. I mean, you're burning the wheel at this point. You are my queen. Now. And always. Do you reckon he can end her? There's no way he doesn't... He just accepts this. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. He did, he did it. Holy shit. Why did they make her die so quick? They could have had some words. Oh, wow. He's in so much pain that he had to do that. And she didn't get to sit on the Iron Throne yet. I knew there was a reason oh, for it. Oh, yeah, I shit. knew it. They should have exchanged some words. They did. Just then. 
No, while she was dying, once she realized what happened, you know? It was just over like that. Wow, dude. I don't know. This, yeah. I mean, I want to try to do it, but even that feels a bit weird. Drogon ain't going to be happy. There's no way he burns them both. No. John, come on. Surely you can command him. That's his mother. Yeah, I know. I hope he doesn't take it out on John. Oh, that's sad. Oh, he looks angry. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, what a screech. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, okay. Oh, Thank shit. God. I thought John was gone. Okay, to the Iron Throne. That's what it looks like. What's he doing? He's trying to melt the throne. Is he following John's will? Is he responding to John's will, maybe? I don't know. Holy shit. It's almost like that throne is what killed his mother, killed his siblings, you know? Yeah, all this battle of thrones and shit. The last Targaryen and the last dragon. Wow. No more throne. Okay. Does that mean there's no king? No queen. Just like Davos wanted. Okay, wow. Was not expecting Danny to die until the very end, but shit. I knew he was, he was testing her resolve when he was asking those questions. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, wow. That's nice how like the dragon's so affectionate towards her. Really? He leaves? Wow. I thought John needed him because how's he going to explain to everyone else who was loyal to her? I wonder where Drogon's going to take her. Maybe to old Valeria. Maybe. Okay. Holy shit. What happens next now? Beats me. I know. Far out. I mean, it's what had to be done. What John did there was the best course of action, but it's just sad that he came to that. I know. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay. What the hell? It's all sunny now. There's no snow. Oh, there's Yara, Dawn. Oh, they're all there. All the different nations and, and islands, I think. Has there been a time scare? They were both to be brought to this gathering. We will decide what we do with our prisoners. This is our city now. If you look outside the walls of your city, you'll find thousands of Northmen who will explain to you why harming Jon Snow is not in your oh, interest. Oh, damn. Cersei is gone because of her, and Jon Snow put a knife in her heart. Let the Unsullied give him what he deserves. Say oh, no yeah, Arya. Right. My brother and I'll cut your throat. <laughs> oh, yeah, Arya. Oh, she is a full, like, intermission of all the Seven Kingdoms. We've had enough war. Thousands yeah, I know. Of you, thousands of them. You know how it ends. We need to find a better way. Go, Davos. We need justice. Jon Snow cannot go free. It's not for you to decide. Do I not hear to speak? Oh, damn. What the hell? Holy shit. Jon committed his crime here. His fate is for our king to decide. Or our queen. We don't have a king or queen. Yeah, what the hell? What's the plan here? Oh, they all choose John. Make your choice then. Is 
There's no way he offers himself. He better say John. <laughs> so he was offering himself up. Oh my this man God. always gets memed on. Sammy! <laughs> Look at Sammy's face. <laughs> oh, yeah, because Sammy's the head of the house too. Maybe the decision about what's best for everyone should be left to... Oh, wow. Everyone. Everyone. Yeah. Go, point. Sammy. Who would have thought Sammy would be sitting here now? I don't know. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should give the dogs a vote as well. I'll ask my horse. That's all right. You guys laugh. Oh, you guys laugh. That's not the response I was expecting. Because they're not used to anything Yeah, different, yeah, yeah. So. True. What unites people? Armies. Gold. He's onto something, but what is it? Stories. Mm, of everyone. Okay. There's nothing in the world more powerful than a good story. He's always said that. Interesting. Where's he going to this? He's going to link it into John? And who has a better story than Bran the Broken? I knew it. I knew it. There is no way that you got that. He knew he'd never walk again. So he learned to fly. He learned to damn fly. There is no way you got that, dude. He is our memory. The keeper of all our stories. The wars, weddings, births, massacres, famines. I mean, he's not wrong. I'm so confused right now, dude. Holy shit. Bran has no interest in ruling and he can't father children. Good. Sons of kings can be cruel and stupid, as you well know. <laughs> <laughs> she knows very well. That is the wheel our queen wanted to break. Mm. Damn. Isn't that ironic? From now on, rulers will not be born. They will be chosen. On this spot by the lords and ladies of Westeros. Wow. To serve the realm. Well, Varys really wanted to serve the realm. Varys should be here. He should. You don't care about power. But I ask you now, if we choose you, will you wear the crown? Holy crap, dude. Is this actually happening? Dude, are you the third eye raven? I might be. Why do you think I came all this way? Oh, what the hell? He saw it as a possibility? The Brandon of House Stark. I say I. What about everyone else? I. Sammy, can always trust Sammy. Wow, so John's not gonna be on the throne. I. I. Holy shit, I. dude. I. Who the hell would have thought? Oh, Gendry. He's a lord too now. Tens of thousands of Northmen fell in the Great War, defending all of Westeros. And those who survived have seen too much and fought too hard ever to kneel again. Where's she going with this? The North will remain an independent kingdom. Oh, shit. I like that. What's Bran going to say? Oh, okay. They've returned it to normal. Interesting. Okay, interesting. Okay, that's good. So is John still going to be king in the north, maybe? He is technically still the king in the north. All hail Bran the Broken. First of his name, king of the Andals and the first men. Lord of the Six Kingdoms. Wow, Six Kingdoms. What the hell, dude? I'd never... I still can't believe you got that, dude. I'm just as surprised as you are. And when I was cutting you off from saying it too, somehow I knew this might backfire on me. <laughs> Lord Tyrion. You will be my hand. <laughs> oh. oh, your grace. I don't want it. And I don't want to be king. Oh, oh shit. God. Full circle. You cannot. Yes, I can. I'm king. This man is a criminal. 
He deserves <laughs> justice. He just got it. He's made many terrible mistakes. He's going to spend the rest of his life fixing them. Oh, oh wow. shit. I like that. Okay. Letting you walk free would start a war. So our new king has chosen to send you to the Night's Watch. No. <laughs> oh my god, there's no way. How can there still be a Night's Watch? What the hell, dude? There's no way he ends up at the Night's Watch. No. That's that's a joke. He saves everyone and this is what he gets. Sansa and Arya wanted you freed. But they understand our new king needs to make peace. No one is very happy. I'm not happy at all. I'm not happy with that at all for John. Damn, I really wanted John to be king of the north. That sucks. It's iconic. I don't but... expect we'll ever see each other again. I wouldn't be so sure. A few years as Hand of the King would make anyone want to piss off the edge of the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like their first goodbye in Winterfell, remember? Yeah. At least John can hang out with the wildlings. Torment and stuff if he's yeah. at the wall. Yeah. But Night's Watch again? Yeah, I don't know. Well, what, Night's Watch of what? Like, there's nothing to be Night's Watch of. Doesn't feel right that John, I mean, it's not a happy ending for anyone, right? But doesn't feel right that John gets punished because the Unsullied are blind. You just see the pain for Grey Worm as well, you Anybody know. Who? Yeah, Grey Worm just ends up depressed in all this. Sully Vavage or not. Oh. Oh, he's still going. Damn. Fulfilling Masande's last wish. I feel for Grey Worm, man. I want him to have a happier ending too. The North is free thanks to you. But they lost their king. Ned Stark's daughter will speak for them. She's the best they could ask for. John's broken. His lips quivering and everything. Dude, what's happened, man? This is ripping me. I might have found some happiness if he was king of the North, but now I'm like just empty. I'm not going back north. Oh shit. Shooting back to the faceless man? What's west of Westeros? Oh wow. I don't know. No one knows. It's where all the maps stop. Oh shit. Wow. She's going on an adventure. She's going exploring. Damn, little Arya's grown up. You have your needle? Right here. She has her needle. Oh, Arya. Don't do that to me, Arya. <sighs> wow, I have so many emotions. I'm sorry I wasn't there when you needed me. You were exactly where you were supposed to be. Oh, Bran. It is ripping me a little bit. Yeah, it is. After everything John sacrificed, to be feeling like this doesn't feel right. So many triumphs against all the odds, and this is what you're left with, just empty, broken, and banished. That's not fair, man. That's so not fair. Last time Bran came, John was such a powerful commander, and now he's kneeling to him. It's just weird. Oh, remember the book? And Jamie had not much written about him. Yeah. And someone else has to write something. Sir Arthur Dane. Doris and Selmy. She's looking at all the great knights. Brian's gonna write something about Jamie. I wanna see what it says. I know. Captured in the field of the whispering wood. Yeah. Set free by Lady Catelyn Star. She's writing all the good things he's done in the process. And there's more than one page. For sure. Dude, this is ripping me, man. It's so, so, like, it's so sad in so many confusing ways. I like how they closed that off. Yeah. That was well, nice with that. Yeah. Book. This is the new council, is it? 
So I can see Davos there, Pod. Sammy, Oz. Oh, is that Bron? I don't know, Bron did some weird shit this season. Oh my god, Sammy. Song of Ice and Fire. Archmaester Ebro's history of the wars following the death of King Robert. I helped him with the title. <laughs> so Sammy's the new maester. And he's got his first link. Sir Bron of the Blackwater, Lord of High God, Lord Paramount of the Reach, and Master of Coin. Big titles. These projects will begin as soon as the Master of Coin and Lord of Lofty Titles provide funding. <laughs> the Master of Coin looks forward to helping the Master of Ships, but first he has to ensure we're not wasting coin, or soon there won't be no more coin. Anymore. You're Master of Grammar now, too. <laughs> yes, he definitely is. Oh my god. Find the best builders and set them to the task. Oh, speaking of builders, all the best brothels burn down. The oh my god. Is willing to fund reconstruction. Oh, oh my god. Oh my Tell god. Tell me this is how it ends. Oh, we've got to see John one last time. Yeah, at the wall again. Well, will he be Lord Commander in the end or something? It just doesn't feel right. He saved everyone and he gets shafted because of the unsullied. Well, more than that, but yeah, okay. <laughs> well, they were the ones that weren't having it for the peace, mainly. The rest were happy to pardon him. I had a oh, feeling man. they would do this. He looks broken though, dude. It's depressing. He's been through a lot. He's had to make some big decisions and that's sitting heavy on his shoulders. Arya's off to go explore. John's Night's Watch again. Sansa's Lady of Winterfell. Jesus. It's almost a bit of a throwback to how it all started in the early season, you know? Sansa was off to become a princess. Arya was going off to an adventure, and then John was here. Wow, uh, all the wildlings are there. I'm happy for everyone else, but I'm still sad for John. Maybe he can be like king of the free people. <laughs> you just want him to be king. <gasps> oh, because he sent ghosts with them, remember? What happened to his ear? In the battle against my king. It's remember oh, he got yeah. damaged. We should have known. Ghost went off with the free people and John. Sh we should have known John was going to go well, back. John did say he never wanted to leave. So maybe he's kind of happy for him. He's just adjusting to everything that's happened. Wow. The first queen in the north. Damn. I mean, it's everything she wanted. Dude, the Starks dominated. The queen in the north and the king. It's been nice there being no fear now. Wow, did you see? Something was growing, yeah. Maybe the north, like, beyond the wall will thaw out. Oh, there's a little smirk there. Seems a bit happy, like it's Like just saying free. goodbye to that bullshit world. Damn, it is kind of a nice sign in some ways. He always was involved beyond the wall. Yeah. And he said he didn't want the throne. Shit. <laughs> I can't believe that's the end. I can't believe we finished it, dude. It doesn't feel right. Before we get into it. Yeah, I was going to say. Can you believe that it's over? I was going to say before we get into it. We're not going to be coming back here to watch Game of Thrones ever again. Oh, guys, I can already feel, even as that was ending, I could just feel the sentimentality was coming in, like, feel like the end of a of a crazy journey. Yeah. Iconic journey. Like, I, I can already feel the emptiness. This is something now is the fun part when I start getting on YouTube and looking at all the <laughs> theories and this and that. And I'll, I'll, I'll leave some in case people still want us to react to some side stuff, maybe, you know, in our demigod tier where they vote on our Patreon. But after that, I'm going ham because I just got to start to delve into this lore and, you know, eventually in our own time, we'll do a, a second viewing. Uh, wow. It's, um, there are only, there are only a few shows that have made me feel like this. 
where they really the journey is so vast and significant at the end you're just like wow mm. what did we go through you know god damn i'm almost let's start simple yeah did you like the ending there were parts of it that I didn't mind, and there were parts of it that I didn't. That you did, you mean? Didn't mind and did mind. But yeah, I get what you were saying. <laughs> yeah, anyways, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, <laughs> but I honestly thought I would be more emotional, whether it was happy, excited, sad, distraught. Like, it didn't reach that level for me. Yeah, yeah. Look, there's no doubt it didn't reach peak Game of Thrones by any means. I think it's a very hard series to wrap up, especially yeah. when you've gone so far past the books. Yeah. It was better than I thought it was going to be, okay. if I'm honest, because if I focus on the overall symbolism behind yeah. the episode, yeah. which we'll break down, I think there was a lot that was done well. Now, yeah. was it done perfect? No. Were there a lot of things I didn't like? Yes. But some of the things I didn't like, admittedly, were also because I love a good ending yeah and it was quite a tragic and sad ending and after all the hype and theories we had to danny and john for a nice that's just where it all comes yeah in the end they both ended up i mean john a bit better than danny but they both ended up just like the targaryen dynasty is pretty much over yeah john never gonna have children so the targaryen bloodline ends with them what i don't get is with the whole night's watch thing we just spoke about breaking breaking the will and, you know, everyone chooses. And I get Tyrion said there needs to be a place for bastards and criminals and things like that. But really, like... I think it was more... I think the Night Watch was more a protector slash manager of the free people. Because they still live beyond the wall. Mm. And they're not under the king or, or queen of the north. And they're not under the Six Kingdoms now. Yeah. So I think that's sort of, it's different to the Night's Watch because there's no real threats anymore. Yeah. So we saw that when John was sort of leading the, the free people to help them live, I guess, because he's got, he's learned from Man's Raider. He's, he's been one of them. He's, he never wanted the crown. So that's where, that's where that was fitting. Yes. But it was very sad after everything he sacrificed and all the hope and moments of glory. For the most part, he looked like a very broken down person. And I was yeah. like, Damn, you know. There was a little smirk there at the end. So it kind of like leaves you hanging for more, if that makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, there was nice symbolism, especially in hindsight. I mean, we know that anything that happened with the direwolves kind of happened to their owner. So when Ghost went back to the wall to the north, I should have thought of it then. Like... I, it always slips my mind with this whole direwolf thing. But, yeah. you know, John said, you know, he doesn't belong here. Like, he needs to be free in the north. That's where he belongs. And yeah. really, he was talking about himself, wasn't he? And he did say he doesn't want to rule and he meant it. So even though I yeah. personally wanted him to rule as the king in the north, or honestly, I, I thought he was going to get voted in to be on the Iron Throne, I do think it is the most fitting and true ending to what John wanted. Yeah. To live freely and, yeah. you know, he did defend the realm. He defended the peace and that job's mm -hmm. done and now he can live out his days. I think that is a nice ending. Because he was tormented. He didn't want to come back to life and have to deal with everything. It was a tormenting existence for him, really. So, uh, like, in a way, it is a nice ending for John. Yeah, I've got to ask. This discussion is going to be all over the place. I'm okay with that. How the hell did you predict Bran? I, I thought it was the most stupidest thing you said when you said it. And honestly, I wanted to bury you when you said it. But I held back because I had a little inkling that somehow that this may be, you know, but how? It's not that I predicted it. It was if they wanted to get what they wanted out of breaking the will, that's what made sense. And I had something in my head, like Tyrion said, you know, like he is everyone's stories, he is everyone's experiences, so he would be the best person to rule. But Tyrion just put it perfectly. I mean, he's said it before so many times. That's what bonds people together. So, I like I don't that know. it gave I a lot just... more to Bran's character in the end, a lot more than I expected. Yeah, because he needed to be much more. What I thought was interesting, and I kind of liked that edginess from Bran, was like, well, why do you think I travelled all this way? You know, like... <laughs> Good issue, but yeah. I don't mind that. From a symbolism point of view, yes. I think it's kind of sad in the sense that it just 
Danny had the right concept, mm. but lost her way on how to execute it. It's sad that she had to be a kill. Yeah. Like, she started turning into a madman. Bad. And yeah. We're going to create a happy world and they don't get a choice. And it was, like, crazy talk. But, yeah, it was that. And also, like, Tyrion was right. She was almost, like, addicted to freeing people. But at the same time, like, what does that mean? Because you just killed, like, a whole city of people. And her ego was getting really big because... The more she freed, the more she believed that she was right and she was just. And it made her less trusting to advisors. And, yeah. And, you know, you could just see that growing in her. And it was, yeah, damn. I and really... It's, it's sad because when Danny first met John, that she was still so... Mm. She was bewildered by him, you know. And when he did say things, she was still open to being convinced that there was a better way. And yeah. trusting in people's goodness. And she just snapped a couple, a few episodes ago and just... Cash it all in. I will decide. I will be everything and everyone will serve me. That's it. And yeah. It's kind of like they didn't know what to do with everyone at the end. So it was just kind of like, you know, yeah, everything thrown in there. Can I just talk about symbolism a little bit? Mm -hmm. So the symbolism I liked. So I liked that they broke the wheel. Yes. I liked that they voted in their first ever king. Yes. You still have the symbolism that, you know, fire and ice has sort of ended all of this mm -hmm. for now. And I thought it was quite interesting that the Starks were, were where this all started. All the, A lot of the tragedy started with the Starks and they yeah. lost a lot. And yet in the end, they sort of ended victorious and, and, and peaceful, you know? Like Bran, who's not, he's a Stark, but he's sort of just almost everyone now, took the throne. The North is free again. It's almost undone everything that happened from the Targaryens. So it's like the Targaryens yeah. have to come and play their role in the battle against the Night, against the night King. And once that threat was done, the Targaryen's purpose was no more. Mm. So from that symbolism, there was some good, and there's more you can nitpick there. There's some good the symbolism themes. I did really think that the Drogon staying around, etc., was gonna that John was gonna take Drogon under his wing, and he was gonna, you know, I thought that was one possibility. But yeah, I I kind of do like that. You know, Drogon is off somewhere with Danny. Um, and I do like that John just didn't automatically have the dragon because they were babies. Like Danny hatched them essentially, and Danny is their mother, and he already lost two siblings. So I do like that he kind of took her and fled. And I also do like how he burnt the Iron Throne. I thought that was a really powerful scene. That was really, really good. Powerful. That was really good. And to me. That almost was the fulfillment of Danny's real yeah. legacy because she wanted to break the will and she lost her way. Oh, man, what I do kind of like, and this is coming from as a, as a guy who I really wanted a good ending. I love good endings. I love... Like a happy ending. Yeah, not without sacrifice. I like it being sacrificial and, and, and meaningful, but I wanted to feel like the heroes in the end won the day. That's me, right? I get it. Game of Thrones ain't that kind of show. I actually don't mind that they didn't do that. Well, I mean, they did. You were rooting yes for the no. Starks. Well, yes or no. What I'm, what I'm getting at is that I actually think one thing they did well was that it is a bittersweet ending. It yeah. does leave you almost like, I can tell I'm going to be thinking about this for a while. I'm going to yeah. be thinking about what could have been the possibilities. Danny and John, where did it all go wrong? And you, you're thinking about that. And, and that's where I think they did that well enough anyway, that mm. it leaves me with, damn, like, what a journey. And... We paid a big price. There's a lot of tragedy and loss till the very end. And even though the end shows hope for a better future, mm. it came at a big price and you feel yeah. the weight of that price. And I think that was done sufficiently well yeah. through Danny and John because it is tragic and sad. In the end, their dreams are being fulfilled. But it just wasn't them that kind yeah. of carried it out. And they had to take a big a big price to pay, yeah. I guess, for it to happen. They were they were the driving vehicle for change, but they, unfortunately, it's kind of like the heroes are too, you know, beaten up for more to enjoy the peace. That's kind of what it's like, isn't it? Yeah. So they pushed through. They were the heroes of the story, but, you know, everyone else had to come in who were kind of less broken in a way and just pick up the pieces of you know, when they started to drop them. That's yeah. what it feels like. Yeah. Very interesting. Tyrion could never escape his position as hand. I know. He's the forever hand. Forever hand. Mm, sad. I mean, nice that Grey Worm's going to Narth, but 
sad because I love Grey Worm guys. You know me, and yeah, I understand his pain. But the, and they kind of did him dirty a little. They did him dirty a little. The yeah. goodness I saw in Grey Worm didn't deserve like this. He didn't deserve to be this hateful, and yeah. you know, even though he lost for Sunday, I still wanted a better outcome for him. Like meanwhile, yeah. Bron gets a good outcome, and honestly, Bron was a weird one. I feel like they got lost on what to do with him his last yeah. couple of seasons, especially season eight. Like, why was Grey Worm not on the council, you he, know? He didn't want to be, I think. He took his people. Yeah, yeah, that's At true. least he gets to live free. Yes. But I just, yeah, I don't know. He looks so in pain and miserable and... It was interesting seeing that council, though, because, yeah, they were talking and negotiating and just sussing out what the kingdom's going to be like, I guess. Mm. But it was all in, like, lighthearted banter, so... I think they were going for like, okay, it's happier days now. Like, it's not perfect and we'll work it out, but it's happier days. I feel like that's the vibe they were going for. In the end, Varys was right. Varys was right. He really did serve the realm. But you know what? It's kind of like Varys's will carried on to Tyrion's, which then yeah. reached Jon right in the end. Yeah. Yeah, everyone, everyone played their part. They were right, but at the same time, they weren't. Uh, they always said someone who should be on the throne is someone who doesn't want it, but it wasn't. Well, in the vision of Game of Thrones, it wasn't John in the end, though. Mm -hmm. It was somebody who, like, and really it, didn't want it. I actually don't mind how for a couple seasons now, there's been so much talk about, you know, we shouldn't be following a king and queen. Maybe they should just be, like, normal people. You know, all these little talks between Davos and Tormund and things like that. Like, I knew there was a purpose behind it. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense without hindsight that it could have been John, But, yeah, nah. Someone completely different. It's just it's just weird. I'm sort of connecting with the thoughts and the feelings I, I had. Yeah. You know, when we went on this journey, particularly like the last season and a half where yeah. John and Danny just went next level, you know. It was like and, epic. Yeah. And, and I just feel like they were so powerful and now they're here. Like not necessarily just all negative, but I will say one thing I didn't like. Danny, talking about Danny, Danny's death. Yeah. I just, when I said, oh, they should have spoken, I know they spoke. When he stabbed her, I wanted some last minute dialogue. It's like she realized like, oh my God, and she was out like that. Like it was too quick. But there was nothing left to say. Well. And she kind of already knew that he betrayed her. So there was not much left, you know, like I kind of don't mind it. I, I saw John killing her, but I thought, will he go that far? I, I saw that being mm. a good option. When he did... Again, I thought he was going to be on the Iron Throne, but that wasn't That's it. That's why but. I was confused when they started kissing. I was like, where's he going with this? Because it's not like John just to, you know, give in to that temptation like that. He did genuinely love her, but yeah. he saved the realms. And that's why I think I feel a bit sad for John. Although maybe, you know, maybe he will be the happiest here. I think so. But I just feel like he ends up alone again because the friends, the family, they're not with him. He's got Tormund, luckily. He's got Tormund. He created his family, right? I know. But I liked him when he was like, 8-1, 8-2, when he was in the north, surrounded by everyone. You know, Danny loved him. His sisters were there. Brother was there. He's, that was nice. Well, none of them are really together. No. No. So what did you think about everyone else's ending? Conflicted about Sansa because obviously I wanted Jon to be king of the north, but also because Sansa was... It's good that she finally got a good position. I liked her for the most part. I just wasn't sure about the later parts where... I don't know. I just felt like because that trope of her sort of almost sneakily trying to some, sometimes question John's position and whatever, and then she got it while John's away, maybe leaves a little bit of a sour note in my mouth. But I think she does genuinely care about Winterfell and she is good for the people. I think yeah. given what she's been through, it's a nice, it's a, it's a satisfactory outcome. She did always want to be a lady of or something and that suits her. She always wanted to be queen, remember? That was her thing. True. Actually, so that's true. I really true. do like it. I don't, I really I, yeah. like Sansa's ending. That is true. That fulfilled that. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Everyone wanted to be the queen. Marjorie didn't get it. Cersei lost it. Yeah. Daddy didn't get it. But yeah, so I did like that. And she is loved by the people. You, you know what's nice? She went off on this journey initially wanting to be the queen and... Obviously, it turned to absolute shit. Like, it was the start of so many deaths and so much, like, heartbreak and torture. And now she actually gets to be queen, loved by the people on her terms. I don't know. Like, I just thought that was really, really nice. It's in the vision that she initially thought it was going to be. Because initially, you know, she went off with a positive mindset and then obviously we know what happened. But now it's like... 
you know, she is queen with that initial positive image and the expectations and she's get to, getting to live that out in Winterfell. So the, I see hers as a happy ending, you know? Yeah. And what about Danny? I mean, obviously it's not a happy ending, but yeah. she didn't even get to sit on the throne after all that. Like it's kind yeah. of, it's kind of tragic, isn't it? She went through heaven and hell to get there and she got within a step of the throne and died before she got to sit on it. Like, it's not about the throne, but it's about the symbolism. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. It's funny, though, because it's like, even that story that she was saying about she couldn't even count to 20, I felt like it was kind of, I thought this was going to make me really, really happy. And it kind of didn't. That's what I was getting from that story. Like, it kind of felt short. Yeah. Um, That was the symbolism I was getting from that story. So then. It's kind of know, like she was never going to be satisfied. Yeah. And you saw that in her speech to the Dothraki and to the Unsullied. So yeah, that was, it, it's still, yeah, it's a bit weird for me. Like I always was harsh on Danny or very critical on Danny when she seemed to get a bit too tyrannical or a bit too just, I felt like it wasn't what she stood for. But this really like tainted my mind. Just, it just, I'm like, that's not Danny. Like yeah. I get it. And, it, and story writing, it almost, I know a lot of people might not like Danny's ending. I don't either. But at the same time, I think there is a there is some good writing behind it. You know, there is some her her being the cog in the wheel of that change, but not being the one. I mean, there is symbolism behind that, and yeah. the way she lost herself in the end. It's like the Targaryen dynasty; they they serve their purpose. Yeah. But they no longer own the the throne because they got it through power and force using dragons. Bran got it by the free people choosing him. You know. Mm. Yeah, and. I don't like that she did lose her way a bit and that was the ending for her, that she had to die. But I do understand that it works that way sometimes. That was my one gripe with Danny for a while. I just felt like I would have loved a lot of things. And for a while, I thought I'd love her to be queen and I was okay with it. And, you know, John could be king of the north or just warden of the north. But when she started to get more obsessed with, no, 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 it's not about just freeing the nations or the tyranny being done, I've got to do that. I've got to be the one. Then I was like, hang on a minute, because everyone else, all the other prospective leaders that I liked, one of them being John, seemed to be like, well, the outcome is... Who was the other one? <laughs> well, Tyrion's vision and Varys' uh, vision, they weren't going to be kings, but their visions, Yeah. even Davos and a lot of these people's visions for a better future was really about the, the goal, not about I've got to lead. And then John yeah. had the biggest claim of all when you realised who he was... And yet he still didn't necessarily want it, which is which is great. But for Danny to not even just consider, like, well, maybe I'm not the best person for the throne, for her to just be like, no, I want it. She became almost a Cersei mistake, dare I say, where she became more obsessed with her power yeah. than the actual bright future she wanted. I really do hope that they change that in the books. Like, it's not that in the books. Hey, if the books ever get finished, yeah. you book readers, I'm sorry to say, man, I really want to know what happens too, but holy shit, dude, the books are... What's happening there? That's torture. Well, what a delay is that? That's ridiculous. The weight on that's crazy. Like, because I, I want to read the books one day properly, but damn, I almost get to start them because I'm just going to be left with a non-ending. Mm. What about Arya's ending? Somewhat fitting. Um, I really liked that the Hound got her off that vengeance path. I yeah. like that symbolism with their relationship towards the end. I'm not sure. Arya's journey's always been a, a, a not random, but somewhat random in this. You could never figure out. I felt like she fulfilled her purpose when she killed Walder Frey. I feel like that's when she fulfilled her journey. Then killing the Night King, I'll touch on more thoughts on that in a, our, our wrap-up video, but I thought that was still pretty cool of her, but didn't really capitalize on her faceless men training. But there was some in that. This going into adventure, I don't know. How do you feel? I don't mind it. Like, the thing is, as individual endings, I can find things that I like, right? And I can see, like, I can find the symbolism behind it and the meaning behind it and the tie-ins. My, like, overall thoughts on the ending, though, is it missed the mark a bit. But when we go into smaller details, I can find things that I like. It's kind of like... 8-3, but flipped. 8-3, there was so much intensity and emotion, and I, I just felt that. But that if I look closely, there's things I can nitpick. On the flip side, you know, the finale was more the intensity and emotion was lacking a little bit. But, yeah, you know, overall, like, when I go into individual things, I can see things that I like. Something this powerful, 
yes, the obviously the finale should have hit harder if we if we're gonna you know what what it could have been yeah. yeah. But it's very hard to write too. I don't know how it would have made it hit harder. Yeah, I thought Tyrion looking at Jamie and Cersei like that was quite. It was emotional because. The episode before, Tyrion was saying, and they've said it before, you know, you're my best friend. You're the reason why I survived my childhood. You're the reason, like, I am the person that I am today. And I'm trying to be that for you, but I know I'm not that. And Cersei was, and you just had to die there together. To be yeah. fair, I, it was quite sad that they were just in each other's arms and then they're just there in a pile of rubble. Oh, no. Dare like, I say, I felt a bit sad this too, even though yeah. ugh, one of the people in there, but yeah. And then it was a sweet tie-in with the book and Brienne writing all the good deeds that Jamie that had nice. done. That was really sweet. I really liked that. I feel like there was a bit of symbolism. I can't figure out how to explain it, but behind Drogon letting John pass. But almost like he knew that his mother, this was not her anymore. Yeah. And he knew something had to be done. So he let him pass and then came in, burnt the throne. Yeah. Took her away. That's what I saw. So, like, in hindsight, that when he did burn the throne, it was kind of just like, oh, like, this is what my mother was fighting for and this is how it ended up. Um, so, I really do like and, that. And, you know, by burning it too, it's like she's broken the will. She's broken the, the chain of command and, and the tyranny here enough, you know, take yeah. her away and, and, and let's leave it. And almost like the sign of the Targaryens leaving too. They came with dragons and they left with dragons. Yeah, you know? that's true. That's true. Oh, man, the more I think about it, wow, it feels like, yeah, it's just a huge journey. And there's, oh, I feel like I've lost friends and family. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's a powerful series. Whether we loved or, you know, every episode or not doesn't really matter. But overall, guys, the series for me is still a 10 out of 10. It was an absolute wild journey. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be thinking about it for, for a long time. Yeah, it yeah it I is. I feel the void in my in my chest already. I think I'm gonna have to go into rehab for like <laughs> sitting here knowing that we're gonna watch some episodes like never again. Like this is weird. It's gonna be hard for us initially going straight to our next series because we're people who, when we watch a series, firstly we get immersed, we give it mm. our all, right? As you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> And especially one like Game of Thrones, that's been eight seasons and so long yeah. and over like 10 or so months. When we watch a series like that, I then usually don't pick up another series for, it could be several months. Like I am- Which is ironic considering we're reacting. Considering what, <laughs> yeah, well now it's a bit different. But yeah. normally, because I would be thinking about that for a while, then I have to let those feelings dissipate. Same. And really disconnect and then be ready to go to a very specific type of story again when I'm emotionally ready. Mm -hmm. So- now, obviously, for content purposes, <laughs> we can't afford to do that. So we're going to our next show. And after a bit of time, I'm sure we'll adjust. But we are definitely going to take a bit of a recording gap just to dissipate these feelings. Because as I said, yeah, it's something that's going to be taking with both of us for a while, you know. I can't wait yeah. to look at all the YouTube theories and stuff now. I'm excited. I'm like, excited. The I'm what excited. ifs, this, that. That'll be fun. It will be. And I really do want to just explore the world. Like, I don't want to let go of it. Yeah, we can go back to some of our older videos and read the comments now, free of spoilers too, yeah. which, is, which has been a blast because thank you for all you who have been good. <laughs> Man, the Game of Thrones has been one of the hardest shows with spoilers. I can honestly say, guys, we have not seen not one spoiler. any spoilers. Not one. I did not get spoiled by the comments at all thanks to our mods. No. We had really strict things in place. Uh, you know, shout out to them. Sudden Impulse, who's just tirelessly been working to make this happen. Wilson, Shellbot, Jorans, John O'Ridge. And Cheeky Rollers, those were our, our main GOT mods. Give them some love in the comments. They, they have worked tirelessly and they do this from their own interest in trying to get the best reactions for us and for our community. They are an integral, critical part of our community. So give them some love in the comments, guys. Shout out to them. They've had a hard time. Uh, some people give them a hard time sometimes when they're a bit strict on spoilers, but they are the reason we did not get a single spoiler and we are eternally grateful to their efforts and why we're able to have such authentic... Game of Thrones reactions and why, honestly, I feel like we got an experience with this that we otherwise couldn't have had. No. To share it with you guys and still have such a clean, untainted experience, mm. even the episodes that some of them didn't like, they would not let us know whether they liked it, hated it. They didn't want to influence us at all. It was you go in, share your thoughts, and we'll just keep you going, you know? Yeah. I just want to say thank you to all of you guys in the community. That was, that was coming next. Yeah. Year. You guys have been absolutely amazing. I mean... 
it's a dream for us to be able to share such an amazing series like this with so many people and I feel like we're just talking to so many friends about this show that we're watching and yeah, being able to share this worldwide yeah. has been crazy and it's kind of ironic because we somehow got rewarded for being stupid enough not to watch <laughs> Game of Thrones earlier we just were stubbornly like nah everyone's hyping that up that's not for me and it we're sort of lucky we did because who would have thought that we'd get to share it with so many people. Yeah. And we are both people in our day-to-day lives. We love to get really immersed in our shows. And like I'm sure many of you, most people around us don't get into it to the same level we get into it. People don't want to talk about it as much as we want to talk about it. They don't want to nerd out. They don't want to live the stories, you know? They're sort of like, all right, cool, like calm down. So it is very, it is just incredible that we're able to go full nerd out on and show our passion, our love, and that yeah. you guys love it as much as we can and we can read your comments and interact and there's a community for that. So that is awesome. We hope we've been able to give you guys that yeah. experience that you were looking for as well, but we, we greatly appreciate that. I mean, you guys are the very reason we're able to sit here today and, you know, react and record and just express our raw thoughts and feelings of this incredible show. I think it's important to mention that this is the show that took us from yeah. just doing this for fun to part-time to full-time. Yes, we've had other shows, but this was the real big one that blew the channel up, put yeah. us on the map, gave us enough sustainability to be able to go on this full-time, which was really scary starting off because we never knew or thought or planned that this could be a job. It was just a, a fun thing that we started to see where it would go. So again, yeah, just bottom, bottom of our heart, guys. Thank you. And uh, this is just the beginning to it many is. more, but this is an iconic beginning. This will forever be one of the most iconic shows for many reasons, for the channel, for the community, for us personally. Yeah. Just a reminder, stay tuned for our wrap-up video where we are going to answer many of your burning questions, which we're going to ask over on our Patreon. And we're also going to share our overall thoughts on Game of Thrones, as well as future series and movies, which we are going to cover. So there are many more journeys to be had together. So for many of you, we look forward to continuing on with that. And for those of you who just purely won Game of Thrones, thank you for stopping by. It's been awesome to have you join us for the journey. We appreciate your support and your fellowship on the channel. And yeah, we wish you all the best. Yeah. Well, I'm excited for House of the Dragon. Yeah, actually, I'm sure we'll see many of you yeah. back at the very least for House of the Dragon Season 2, which will be really cool. For those of you who don't know, we've already watched Season 1 before Game of Thrones. Many of you seem not to know that. So... That's on the channel. We watched it before starting Game of Thrones at all, so you can see what we were like when we were complete <laughs> sweet summer children. Like, oh, no. We had no idea. To the nth degree. No idea. <laughs> yeah. Guys, for the very last time from Game of Thrones, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode and to the series as a whole. Smash that like button if uh, you've enjoyed the journey with us. Now I'm getting emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode, but of our journey so far... How did you enjoy it alongside with us? Uh, just let us know, whatever you want to tell us. Whatever you want to tell us, we've enjoyed this very much. And subscribe to the channel for many more reactions to come. Again, for the last time of Game of Thrones, I'm signing out as Spartan. Love you guys lots <laughs> and see you guys next reaction. It wouldn't be a pudgy goodbye without crying. <laughs> you nailed that. <laughs> see you guys.